Hey, good morning, Mount Olive. Um, I'm here to bring you your Saturday devotion. Um, just like to remember everybody who was uh, involved in the flooding on Thursday. Um, I know it's affected a lot of people, and we just want you to know that we're praying for you. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, none of you all were were impacted by that. Um, but remember, let's remember all the people in uh, Wise County in Eastern Kentucky. All right, Saturday devotion I'm going to bring you this morning is uh, from Brother Jason's message on Sunday, and he had titled his message um, "Confronting Crisis." So. Let's get started with uh, Brother Jason gave us a thing. It said, you know, sometimes we're going to go through crisis. Um, but we have to make sure we have to make sure that we're giving up some stuff. All right. We have to give up some stuff so that we can seek God. And whenever we're praying and going through something, we have to make sure that we're Praying a sincere prayer. And it said here, Joseph realized he could do some things after he had prayed, but he could not do anything worthwhile before he prayed. Prayer was his strongest weapon. So we have to make sure that whenever, whenever we're seeking God, that we're praying a sincere prayer. We have to, I think Brother Jason made the, the the wording that he used was it can't be a prayer that we would pray or little kids would pray for they go to bed um now i lay me down to sleep pray the lord my soul to keep <laughs> excuse me we have to make sure that we're praying a sincere prayer um whenever we're reaching out to god We have to make sure, we also have to make sure, guys, that that we're talking to God all the time. We can't just go to God when we need stuff and, and whenever things are going good in our life that, that we forget and we forget to talk to God and pray to God. We have to make sure on a daily basis that we're reaching out to, to Jesus and that and that we're praying prayers to him and we're we're just talking to him and thanking him. We can't just Things are not good right now, so I'm hitting the altar. I'm getting on my knees. I'm going to Jesus. I'm doing this. We have to make sure that no matter if we're in our high times or in our low times, that we're talking to Jesus and we're seeking him. Another really good point that I thought Bro Brother Jason uh, brought out was, you know, sometimes when we go through problems, we try to, we try to do it ourselves. We try to do all this and, and we try to figure it out. And we don't rely on others. We don't do this. But Brother Jason made a really good point. It's kind of like a quarterback and, and a running back on a football team. If the quarterback receives a snap and hands it to the running back, and he don't want to follow his blockers and wants to go do it on his own, not going to get very far. He's going to get tackled quarterback doesn't do what his assignment is and just takes off running doesn't follow his blockers he's gonna he's gonna get tackled we're not doing and following and reaching out to god and following god god said i've already done this i've been there i know the outcome we have to go to we have to reach out to god we have to talk to god he said uh god's already standing there Want you throwing the ball? I'm open. Throw it to me. Get it out of your hands. Throw me the ball. God is there waiting on us to give the problems to Him. He said, I conquered death, hell, and the grave. I can conquer this problem. Give God your problems. Quit trying to do it on your own. And again, make sure we're praying sincere prayers. Mount Olive, we love you today. We thank you. Continue to remember all the people in Southwest Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. Have a great Saturday.